very excited to uh, to be here because New England kit. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's impressive. Red, white, and blue mixes in with the tradition of the England kit. I've had a little look at it, and uh, there are a few details. I don't know if you were uh, aware of these. On the inside of that sleeve there, it says three. three. And, the, and on this side, it says... Yeah, I know already. It says lions. 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 So... You've missed the one on the colour. What's it on the colour? Dry fit? England. Oh, England. Try. <laughs> 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 yeah. And this is interesting. Underneath the three lions, on the reverse of the three lions, is a rose. Yeah. Do you know what that is? That's the rose that was on the England caps back in the day. And uh, so they've got that on the emblem behind. Behind the England badge, close to the heart. It's in there. Beautiful. Where do you keep your England caps? I'm not telling you. Why? <laughs> you might come to my house. <laughs> oh, come to the house. <laughs> you might, you might not be at the house. Reverse psychology. <laughs> <laughs> not seriously, where do you keep them? I ain't telling you. All right, okay, fine. Where are you from? Scarborough. Okay. I might tell you after. Okay. <laughs> Shorts. Stop the press. No. Drawstrings. Drawstrings. Yeah. Thoughts on that? Yeah, I'm not, I need to try it on, um, but I think it'll be it's decent. Like, there's no distractions down there, is there? <laughs> no <Yeah>. distractions. <laughs> the big story, though, about this kit, I think, is Red Sox. Thoughts? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's a bit different to, obviously, what I've worn in the past with the white kit and then to have the Red, red Sox, but I'm looking forward to putting, putting them on and wearing them, seeing how it goes. John Barnes, 1984, scored the goal in the Maracanã. He was wearing... Red Sox. Red Sox. Yeah, I was born in 1990. Well, yeah. My 90s, baby. When was you born? Ah, uh, we don't need to... Uh, <laughs> we don't need to do this, do we, really? <laughs> we don't need to do this. Um, so what's the first England shirt that you remember? Um, it's probably France, 98. Uh, Michael Owen scored that goal, and that's probably the moment that, like, this proper sticks out in my mind. It's my first England memory. Um, yeah, I was, I was seven years old then. Seven? So, yeah. So it was a while ago. Um, but yeah, that's the first England kit that I really remember. How about the first one that you owned? It was, I was 14, um, playing for England in the 16s in the, in the Victory Shield, so... So that was the first time you had a, an England kit when you were actually playing for yeah, England? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. On match day, how, how many shirts do you get? Um, it's two shirts, if it's a bit wet or whatever, it's soggy, it's been raining heavily, um, you can change your shirt to a fresh one at half time, but you get two tops on match day. And then after the game, what they used to do is they used to give you like a bin bag and you put your kit in a bin bag and walk off with it. Is yeah, that still got... the case? Yeah, yeah, it's still the case. Really? Yeah, it's still the case. Get the bin bag um, after the game. Obviously, you're going back to your clubs after an England match, so you've got the bin bag, take your boots, your shin pads, your shirts. Off, off, off up the road to wherever you're going. Have you kept all your England shirts? I've probably got 90% of them, I mean, except, except the ones that you might have swapped after a game. Who's the best swap you've got? Um, probably Ibrahimovic, Zlatan. Uh, was that the game when he scored that goal? Yeah, it was the game when he scored that goal. And if you want it, you just, just name a price, I might, might give you a little... That's out of my bracket, mate. That's <laughs> out of my bracket. How do you find out if you're in the squad? Um, you get a text. Who do you get the text off? It's not the gaffer. It's not a text off, no. right? <laughs> no, no, no. It's not the big man. Um, it's one of the play liaison officers. They let you know. And Is it Michelle? Yeah. yeah. Do you know Michelle? I don't know, no. I know so why, why are you dropping a name like that? I'm just... I don't know. <laughs> There's nothing going Is on. It Michelle, yeah. There's nothing going on with you, Michelle. I do not know Michelle. What's going on, Mitch? But I've heard, I've on, heard that Michelle is the, the, the person who lets you know. Yeah, yeah. So it's have Michelle. You, can I see the text then? I've not got my phone. I'm a professional. You don't bring your phone to me. Right. Okay, fair have enough. Have you got yours on you? Uh, I, no, I haven't. All right. I'm, I'm not a professional. To pat you down. <laughs> <laughs> How does it actually feel pulling that shirt on, you know, for the first time as a, as a full England international? Yeah, I think you, you've done it um, plenty of times before with the younger age groups, but uh, it's a completely different feeling when you finally get to do it for the senior team and you know how much it means to you, your family, um, the whole country, and it's just uh, it's a moment where you, you really want to give it everything and uh, once you get on that pitch, you know, it's a, it's a special moment. Top man. Cheers, Good to meet you, mate. All the best. Thank you. Come on, go for it.
Distraction number one down. He's doing a good job. You all right, Dean? All right. Yeah, yeah brilliant.